Hi Duninistas, it's me the Pecan Tan Beauty and welcome to my channel or as always I welcome you back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video that I initially filmed for a faith group so I thought that I would add a little bit of a Duninista touch to it so if you are interested in seeing the video then you know what to do just keep on watching hey Diva. so this is the project that i have been working on i was inspired by a photo that i saw on pinterest i believe and so i wanted to try to recreate it and maybe put my own spin on it so the first thing is this is just a simple little mixed media five by seven little journaling book here and so what I did is from the recollections scrapbooking Bible journaling paper pad that we all went crazy for about a year ago I found a page that I was able to pull pretty much a section off of that would be perfect for the cover so I just cut it down to size and I think this is the perfect cover and exactly what I was looking for. So this spine is just the beginning of something that I am in the process of finishing. But I did start just a few just to show you what it's supposed to look like and the end result that I'm going for. So I started off with these little embellishments. Um, this one says blessed, this one says faith, and I added just some little rings here to be able to hook it into the spine. And these are actually embellishments that I picked up from Michaels. As you can see, that one says believe, live, laugh, love, you are loved, dream, there's another blessed, and believe, and then here are a couple more of the faith ones here so I thought these would be perfect to use as a nice little accent on the side and eventually I'm gonna have tons of ribbons over here and I'm gonna add a few more of these and maybe some bottle caps or other embellishments that I think would kind of brighten up and cover the spine so eventually I am going to glue this to the side here and make it a permanent cover. So on the inside, what I did is I tore the pages and as you can see, they are pretty rugged and jagged. And that is exactly the look that I was going for. So basically what I did is I used distressed inks here not caring I just put down some color on the page and I went in with my butterfly stamp and just kind of randomly stamped some butterflies so onto the back so on the back of this page I just put down again without caring some distressed oxide ink and then I just went back through and added some little C shapes to create these flowers and I varnished the ends with some distressed ink as well just to give it a rustic look. So on this page I just used my prayer stamp and I did some varnishing on the side with some cracked pistachio distressed ink and also I just did a little solid smush here in the middle. So on the back of this, I used some Dilusions paint here that I picked up from Hobby Lobby in one of my hauls that I posted here. And I just used a flat paintbrush just to brush on the color, not in any particular order or anything. And I used a stamp to stamp on a couple of flowers. So what I did here is I used a piece of bubble wrap just from a mailing envelope and I put on some of this acrylic paint, it's called New Penny, 
and I just randomly stamped it on the page and whatever came of it came of it and then I used my faith stamp just to randomly stamp some little faith shadows there and again I varnished it with some distressed ink on the side to give it a rustic and old-fashioned look okay so on the back I used gelatos I used a gray gelato as well as a periwinkle color gelato and I just took a stamp here and I just randomly stamped it on the page so on this side, this was just a blank one and I just wanted it to be very simple. So I used a Prayer Changes Everything stamp here just on the bottom. And I varnished the sides with some distressed ink on the sides and also just lined it with some black soot distressed ink as well. Okay, so on the back of this, what I did was I first stamped it with some distressed oxide inks. I don't necessarily have the color, but it's a distressed oxide ink. And I went in and I used my stamp here. And this is the Lord's Prayer stamp. So I just used probably a third of the stamp and I just very lightly dipped it into my ink and I just made just this little shadow of pattern here on the, the page. So another little fun thing that I am deciding to do is add in little tip-ins in between the pages here. So this one I just used a mason jar top. I rimmed it with my distressed ink and I just stamped it on the page and I also just did some little distressed ink splatters here to give it a little bit of dimension. So on the back, it's just something plain. I haven't decided what I was gonna do with it yet, but still it is the distressed oxide inks. And as you can see, it turns out so, so pretty and so unique. So what I will do is, is I will find a spot in here somewhere and I will take some washi tape and I will washi tape this in on the side as a tip in and also put some washi tape on this side so I can just take it and flip it and still have a usable page here. So anyway, this is the project that I have been working on. I told you guys that I was going to be getting my groove back when it came to my Bible journaling. And this has been a very, very interesting and very fun way to get back into the spirit. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye guys. So now on to the inspiration. So I was inspired by the orange in this cover by my Dooney and Burke Florentine Leather Kingston Hobo in the color orange and also my Dooney and Burke Florentine Leather Clayton Satchel also in the color orange. So my next bit of inspiration came from these cute little accessories. My Dooney and Burke Florentine Leather Zip Around Wallet in the color Violet. And this cute little cosmetics case that I received as a mystery item with some violets and some greens as well. And last but not least, my Dooney and Burke Florentine Leather domed buckle satchel in the color teal. So anyway, these are the items that I chose as inspiration for creating this cute little prayer journal. And I am not sure if I want to gift it 
to one of my beautiful faith sisters or if I want to keep it for myself. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.